Hello, hello. Hi. How are you? Good evening, my dear students. How are you today? Okay, so today we are going to continue working on the topic that we have been studying, which is the topic that we have been studying. Uh -huh. Places in town. We have been studying places in town. And I think we're going to finish working on that today. So we can start with the next sections that we are missing, okay? Let me just change my background. Me. Okay. There we go. Okay, here it is. Well, how was your day, my dear students? Welcome, Elba. Welcome, Mr. Carlos, Mr. Julio, David, Miss Noemi, Miss Anna, oh Elena, Josue, and Ingris. Welcome to the class. Welcome, everybody. Did you investigate more places in town? More names? Did you check the lists? Breaking? Yes, teacher. Yes, very good. You're going to use them in a moment, okay? We're going to use them in a second. We're going to start today, for sure, by uh, working a little bit our brain. We're going to work on our brain a little bit, and we are going to we're going to work a little bit on this um, storage. <laughs> yeah, we're going to find in this word search. And it's called word search. And what I need you to do is that I need you to find different places in town in the picture. In some places, in some uh, applications, you have a little pencil, okay? A algunos en Zoom les aparece un lapicito que lo pueden ocupar para marcar y para indicar eh, en la pizarra. No sé si les sale un lapicito en su aplicación. Si les sale un lapicito para hacer notas, que dice anotar. Yes. Yes. Ok. Si no, a los que están en el escritorio, en la cinta de opciones hay un lápiz que dice anotar. No sé si le sale a ustedes. Por ahí ya veo a unos que ya están haciendo trazos. <laughs> Entonces sí le sale. I can see Ingrid, Elena. Okay. So what I need you to do, right now I'm going to erase everything. I need you to find different names of places in town in the picture. I mark the first one here. That is gas station. Okay. And if you cannot use the pencil, si no le sale lápiz, Pueden participar en el chat. Pueden enviar en el chat los nombres que vayan encontrando, ¿ok? Elena, drugstore, very good. Let's see, hey, we have more in the chat, very good, excellent. Supermarket, restaurant, very good, another one. Which other places in town can you find? Look for them, look for them. Good. Hey, bank is in the chat. Where is bank? Ah, I got it. I saw it. <laughs> bank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, very good. So we found bank, right? Bank. I helped David here. The next one, hey, bookstore. Very good, the bookstore. Excellent. Hotel. hotel. Hotel, where is hotel? Hotel. Oh, it's right here, hotel. Very good. Another one. Check on the ones that you have there. Check which others we can find. We have hotel, bookstore, restaurant, drugstore, bank, gas station. 
supermarket. Any other one? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Any other one that you can find? Where is, I need you to find post office. Where is it? Where is post office? It is the first B. Uh-huh. And M. <clears throat> yes, it is the first C and it finishes. Excellent, very good job, right? The post office and you finish here, right? A very, very big uh, word, post office. The drugstore, the hotel, the bookstore, the restaurant, the gas station and the bank. I think we have found all of them. It was, there were eight, eight words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you got it. Very good job, my dear students. It's very nice to exercise your brain, right? To exercise your brain with these type of exercises. Excellent job. And thank you for the ones who collaborate at marking the different uh, words. Very good. You have the eight results, fantastic. Now, this is the one that I sent you on uh, the WhatsApp group, right? With the places that we have already um, found yesterday, right? With the places that we worked on yesterday. And what we are going to do right now is to include more places to the list. Which other places did you find? The ones that we don't have here. Uh -huh. The plaza teacher. And how do you say that in English? Dry uh -huh. The dry cleaners, museum. we have it. The museum, right? The museum. Yeah. Wait. Oye, un gatito, no sé usted. <laughs> the museum. Chapel. Which one? Chapel, Capilla. Capilla, Chapel. Ah, the chapel, good. The chapel. Bus yeah. station. Okay, which one, Jorge? Your story. Bus station. The bus station, good, very good. The mall. Supermarket teacher. The supermarket, we don't have it on the list, right? Okay, the supermarket. Another one? Pharmacy. The pharmacy. pharmacy, okay. In the pharmacy, we have the pharmacy or the drugstore, right? You can have both of them. You can have, sorry, it's the pharmacy or the drugstore. drugstore. The drugstore. Good, another one. Uh, the nursery. Nursery. The nursery and someone mentioned the shopping mall. What is the nursery? Can you explain the group? What is a nursery? What is a nursery? Guarderia. Guarderia, right? Guarderia, pero para ver más chiquitito. A daycare, a daycare center is for, for babies and kids, but a nursery is for the little, little babies. Children garden. Children that one garden. is a kindergarten. A kindergarten, it's the same. Another one, the, sh the shopping mall is like Metro Centro, right? Tienda, tienda. That's a store. Market, eh, mercado. The market, good. The market. Soccer field. Which one? Soccer field. The soccer field, for sure. The soccer field. Hardware. Yes. 
or do you say uh, be better in English? Ah, good. Let me see. Here, sorry, sorry. We have the soccer field and we can have here the basketball field as well. The basketball court. The stadium. The stadium. The vivero is... Um, my God, I had it in my mind. Swimming pool. The swimming pool, right? I am going to add it right now. The swimming pool. The swimming pool. Uh, here I have Vivero. Let me just check it. Let me just investigate because I had it. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> In this case, the vivero is the nursery garden. It is curious, the name. The nursery garden, it's a vivero. Let me see if I have other defini definition. Yeah, nursery. Gas station, teacher. <clears throat> the gas station, very good. Now it's a very expensive place, right? Lléveme un lugar caro, the gas station. <laughs> it is a very expensive place. <clears throat> the gas station, okay. let me see. Any other place that we haven't mentioned? Teacher, y el polideportivo entraría como la soccer field. Well, that's like like a stadium, kind of a stadium. Okay. Or it can be like a sports place. A sports place. Solway the station, teacher. Which one? Solway the station. <clears throat> well, but we, we don't have a subway in El Salvador, but it can okay. exist, right? We have here the bus station Gold and... Course. Which one? Gold Coast. What is that one? Campo de again? The airport. Ah, the airport, for sure. <clears throat> okay, wait, 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 wait. The airport? Cathedral. The cathedral or the church, right? We have the church, I think. The cathedral? Teacher, airport is airport. repeated. Yes, let's see. Airport, airport. yes, we have airport. Oh, oh, Which one? Teacher. Yes, Ferreteria. Yes. Ferreteria is hardware store. We have it right here. Hardware store here. here. E car garage. Car garage is uh, where you take your car when it has problem, a uh, taller. Okay. Yeah, the port is like in Acajutla, right? Oh, yeah. That's a port. Yeah, yeah. Another one that we are missing. Como se dice que? Sorry. Ah, it's the main hall. It's right here. Por aquí la tenemos. Main hall. Fabricas. Well, the fabricas are the factories. 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 Monuments, teacher. The monuments. Yes, the monuments. And uh, we can also have viewpoints. Viewpoints are miradores. The liquor store. The liquor store. Yeah, it's something necessary. <laughs> I don't like liquor, but it's necessary. The liquor store. Uh, we also have the bar, the hotel, the disco. And let me see. Ah, the mini market. The difference between the mini market, the supermarket and the grocery store is that the mini market is a little bit bigger. It's not like the tiendita where you can go and buy the choco bananos. 
but the mini market is a little bit bigger. And the store, it's bigger than the mini market. And the supermarket is bigger than the store. And the shopping mall is bigger than the supermarket, right? So that is the difference. The first one that we have is the grocery store, right? The grocery store is small, next to your house, right? Las tienditas donde pudiera comprar un consomé, un chocobanano, un, I don't know. Eh, ¿Qué más va a comprar la tiendita? No sé, un... Huevos, tomates. Huevos, tomates, boquitas, sodas. So that's a grocery store. It's a small. The mini market, it's a little bit bigger, right? Ahí ya encuentra agua cristal. Agua cristal no nos paga nada por estos comerciales. And then, y yes. Y, y qué sería? Ah, very good question. Very good question. That is a dairy store. A dairy store. Dairy are all the products that come from the milk, from the animals, uh, right? That's a dairy store. A dairy store. Let me see. <clears throat> And in this one, we have the butcher shops. The butcher shop is carniceria. Right? The, the daily store is... Cinema, the cinema. Good. Very good. Another one? Teacher. Yes? Y, eh, las ópticas. Ah, the, that's the eye, eye care center. Teacher. Yes? Okay, uh, shop. The cake cage, what is that one? Pastelería. Ah, that is a bakery. 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 Creo que por aquí lo tengo. Y el veterinario teacher. The vet. Bakery. Ahí está. Uh, después de hospital. Está bakery. In the bakery, you can find bread, cakes, sweets, sweets, and everything. Uh, the vet, the veterinarian. It's vet. Bet. Let's Teacher see. Teacher, las clínicas? Clinic. Ahí está. In general, yeah. yes, clinic. <laughs> Any other one? Club Campestre. Ah, okay. Wait, that's the... Club Campestre. Temple. Donde hay recepción y todo eso. That's the club. Or the club or the convention center. The convention center, it's a bigger place than the club where you can have a wedding, a party, or, or any event, right? A convention center is like a Círculo Militar, for example, okay. that we have here in Círculo Militar. Mm -hmm. And we also have in Santa Tecla, we have another one. Círculo Deportivo. También. Exactly, that you can have the events there. Club I, uh -huh. The club, that's the club. Uh, the club. Yes. Um, a bank. The bank, right? The bank. I Punta think I have. Taxis. Ah, that's a taxi. A taxi. Okay. A taxi station. The taxi station. And we can also have, which was the other one? Sorry. Post office. The, the post office, I think I wrote it. No, no escribí la post office. Estación de bomberos. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Es que aquí para que vean que todo está en el momento aquí. A tiempo real. <laughs> the post office and the... Fire station. Fire station. Fire station. Prisión o cárcel. Ah, the jail. The jail. 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 And the lavanderias, teacher. That, those are the dry cleaners. Dry cleaners. They are here after the computer shop. Los comandos de salvamento. Well, that would be like the rescue. Rescue station. The rescue station. And for sure, the Temple, police. Teacher. The temple, the temple, we have the chapel there that it's very common, the church and the temple that it's for another type of religion. 
right? You have the tempo. And I think we have quite enough, right? Teacher, Ah, I wrote it yesterday. The tire repair shop. Tire uh, repair. Cargos. The car wash. Good. The car, car wash. And teacher. And the lava la ropa. The what? Donde lava la ropa. Okay, los juzgados. It will be the yeah. judge. The judge. Really? The judge center. Wait, 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 wait. The judge center, I think that is like the, the juzgados. Donde lavan la que me dijera. La ropa. Alcaldía. <laughs> That's ropa. A, the dry cleaner. The dry yes, cleaner. Um, or dry cleaner. there is another one that it's called also the laundromat. The laundromat son como las lavanderías nada más. Alcaldía. 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 Main hall. Alcaldía. Alcaldía. Barbería, barbershop. Let me see. Floristeria. Here is barbershop. And flower shop. Flower shop. Y las tiendas de artesanía, teacher. That would be ah, the souvenir. The souvenir store. Teacher, y los cementerios o funerarias. Ah, very good. The cemetery. It's the same in three, if I am not mistaken. Let me check, let me check. Okay, aquí estoy de diccionario, de todo, definitions, everything, pronunciation, Embajada vocabulary. Americana. Well, that's the embassy. Hmm? The embassy. Let's see, let's see. Embassy. The, uh, I'm going to write it in a second. I am going to write it because I am looking for cementerio. Ah, graveyard. It's a, it's a bit, it's, this is a better definition. A graveyard. Graveyard and embassy. The embassy. Estaciones de radio, teacher. Well, that's a radio station. Radio station. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, the embassy and the radio station. We're going to have it here. Teacher, embassy yes? and entra graveyard is the same significance. <laughs> no, graveyard, no. graveyard is funeral, it's cementerio. And embassy is embajada. Ah, la embajada. <laughs> yes. And the radio station is la estación de radio. Oh, sorry. Oficina de correo. The post office. I think it's post. there. Oh. Uh, custom de aduana, no. Oh, customs. Very good. La fronteras. Very good. Very good. Ya ven cuántos lugares tenemos alrededor y no nos damos cuenta. <laughs> customs. Eh, well, uh -huh. Y la zona verde, que son como espacios abiertos donde hay banquitas, pero no son parques. Uh, that can be, it can be a recreation place or center. A recreation place, something like that. Recreation place. Okay. I think we have enough, right? We have enough uh, right now. Okay. So I think we have enough, right? We have enough uh, places for us to use today. Let's go a little bit over pronunciation before we continue. Listen, listen for pronunciation because we have many. Entonces, escuchen nada más la pronunciación porque tenemos un montón. I have pupusas place, park, bookstore, library, bar, hotel, grocery store, discotheque, hospital, bakery, police station, car garage, funeral parlor, 
butcher shop, hardware store, vet, clinic, dental clinic, beauty salon, church, barber shop, ice cream shop, pet shop, main hall, airport, theater, gym, university, school, daycare center, tire repair shop, soup, restaurant, computer shop, dry cleaners, spa, shoe shop, museum, chapel, bus station, supermarket, pharmacy, drugstore, nursery, shopping mall, kindergarten, a store, market, soccer field, basketball court, a stadium, swimming pool, nursery garden, gas station, sports place, port, factory, monuments, viewpoints, liquor store, mini market, a dairy store, cinema, eye care center, club, convention center, taxi station, post office, fire station, jail, rescue station, a temple, car wash, judge center, laundromat, flower shop, souvenir store, graveyard, embassy, radio station, customs and recreation place. Whew, we have a lot of places in town, right? Ya le voy a enviar la lista actualizada. Here. Now that we have all these different places, we are going to work on the uses of the places. Tell me, if I need an aspirin, you can tell me. Teacher, you can buy an aspirin at the drugstore. You can buy an aspirin at the supermarket. You can buy an aspirin at the pharmacy. You can buy an aspirin at the hospital, right? Where can you buy bread? Where can you buy bread? I can buy in the bakery. Okay, I can buy bread in the bakery, in the supermarket. I can buy bread. I can buy bread uh, in the supermarket. In the supermarket, okay, at the supermarket. I can buy, buy bread in the restaurant, maybe. <laughs> in the restaurant, right? You can buy bread in the restaurant. You can buy bread in the grocery store, right? Hay una tiendita de la esquina, también venden pan. You can buy bread on the street, here in El Salvador, on the corners, right? You can buy bread on the street. Also near the bus stations. You can buy bread in the bus station, here in El Salvador. ¿Cómo sería? To the sellers. In that case, is to the bread sellers. En el semáforo. En el semáforo, right? On the street. Here in El Salvador, yeah. you don't el die because of el that. Muchacho de la bicicleta. <laughs> in that case, it can be the delivery, the delivery boy or the delivery guy. Al chico, yeah. al repartidor de pan, right? Bread the delivery bus. boy. <laughs> On the bus, in the on the bus, yes. I remember that I used to work uh, near San Juan Opico and near American Park. They go on the bus and they say eh, chorizos, bread, tomatoes, everything that you need for dinner. Everything they had it there. They had it there. The most curious thing that I saw was beans. Los frijoles ya, ya embolsados, cocidos, embolsados. And I was like, what? <laughs> that has been the most curious thing that I saw there. They sell chorizos, they sell uh, bananas, everything that you need for dinner. Todo lo que cualquiera podría necesitar para ir a hacer cena, there, in American Park, they have it. So it's very curious. If I need to buy a dictionary, where do I go? You can buy a dictionary Books in the bookstore. At the bookstore. If I need to buy gasoline, 
and library. I can buy, buy, buy gasoline, gasoline at the uh, gas station. At the gas station. Very good. You can buy gasoline at the gas station. Only, only like that. Okay. No other place. Where do I go if I want a sandwich? can buy it in the market in the cafeteria in the market <laughs> right in the restaurant good at the at the gas station yeah yes yeah <laughs> on the buses too yes yeah. exactly yeah when, when you are going in 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 the in the tour right near yeah. metro centro you say sandwiches <laughs> that's the way you see yo soy santaneca de corazón so they sell sandwiches on the buses also in the bus terminal they sell sandwiches uh, where can I buy pupusas here in El Salvador? I can buy pupusas on the street. On the street, right? You can buy pupusas on the street. Everywhere. Everywhere. De aquí, si yeah. hay algo de lo que no nos morimos en El Salvador, es de hambre. No? <laughs> if you are on the street, if you are in your office, if you are everywhere you can find food that's for sure right estampilla tal vez no hayamos pero comida always where can you buy a stamp where can you buy a stamp for office at the post office right at the post office if i want to buy a sweatshirt a sweatshirt is un uh, Eh, como, un, como un suéter, pero sin gorro. That's a sweatshirt. I can buy the sweatshirt at the department store. At the department store. Very good. The department store is like, is like a simán, right? Almacén. It's almacén. Exactly like that. And if I want to buy, not a not traveler check, but a, if I want to buy... <laughs> if I want to buy a plane ticket, si quiero comprar un boleto de avión, I you can buy. You can buy. I can buy the ticket at the travelers. At the travel agency. Travel agency. Travel agency. Or at the airport. Or at the airport, or with the company. Online. On the internet, right? Well, now with COVID, eh, I remember that two years ago, right? Ya casi vamos a estar de aniversario con el COVID. Ay. Es la relación más duradera que hemos tenido. <laughs> el 12 de marzo creo que cumplimos años de COVID, vea. Más o menos. With COVID, yeah. with COVID you can buy anything online you can buy anything online food things for the house the supermarket everything 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 i remember that during the pandemic i never i never uh, went to the supermarket i used to buy it on online on the application and they brought it to my house yeah, no, no need of the Dewey. Yeah, todavía sirve la app, creo, del super. And it's very good. El super no me paga nada por esto comercial. <laughs> Just making it clear. If I need or if I want to buy a cat, where do I go? A pet shop. To the pet shop, right? I go to the pet shop. If I want to buy shoes, you can buy in the shoe shoe shop at the shoe shop acuérdense del shoe shop shoe shop where else at the department store right the department store 
in the department store, you can also buy shoes. And online, you can buy shoes online. Excellent job, my dear students. Well, here I have a very short conversation and it says, excuse me, can you help me? Is it, is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First Avenue. Yes, it is across from the park. You can't miss it. No te puedes perder. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot, right? Imagine if you are here in San Salvador and you need a public restroom. Nah, you die. Go to the gas station. Excuse me, can you help me? Can you, can you go with me? Excuse me, can you help me? Excuse me, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry. A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. My song needs a restroom. My son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. The on the corner of Main and First. On the corner of Main and First. Yes, it is across from the park. Yes, yes it is across from the park. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay, so when you use phrases like this ones, when you say, when you are looking for places, you use a lot of prepositions, right? We are going to go here. What is the place that the lady needs? What is the place that the lady needs? A public restaurant. A public restroom. And where is the restroom? In the My street. In my street. It's in the department store. Mm -hmm. Exactly it is like that. In the department store. It is in the department store. And the next question is, where is the department store? It's, it's on, on the corner of oh, Main oh, and the First Avenue. Very good. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue, right? And where is the corner of Main and First Avenue? It's, it's across, across from, from the park. park. Across from the park. Across from the park. ¿Qué significa across from? Al cruzarse de. Across from es al cruzarse de. Cuando hay una calle de por medio. Across from. Okay? You can't miss it. No te puedes perder. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. When you say it's on the corner, right? This is the street and the place it's on the corner. It's exactly here, right? It's on the corner of Main and First. And let me see if I have a marker around here. I cannot find my markers. But the idea is that the place is on the corner of the street, right? On the corner of Main and First avenue it's on the corner right in the skin here we have all the prepositions we have on the corner across from and it's in the department store when you say around here it's like 
cerca de aquí, around here. So, here I have some uh, definitions of the prepositions of place that I was mentioning. When you say it's on Main Street, se encuentra en la calle principal. So, on means in. On the corner of, it's in esquina de. Across from, al cruzar de. Next to, están justo a la par. Next to, next to, it's contiguo a o a la par de, right? Next to. And the other ones that we have here, let me mention the rest. Here I have between, between es en medio, en medio de las dos. Here, <clears throat> for example, if you use other prepositions like, and I am going to include some of them here, in front of, in front of, ¿qué significaría? En frente de. En frente de o frente a. Exactly like that. In front of. It can be the hospital is in front of the park, right? Because there is the park and the hospital. The hospital is in front of the park. When you say it's between, between, it means that you have the hospital, the bank, the restaurant. So the, the restaurant, no, the hospital, the bank, the restaurant. The bank is in the middle of the other two places. Right, you have the hospital, the bank, and the restaurant. So the bank is in the middle of them. It's between, right? On, on the corner, across from, al cruzar de, next to, and between. Example, the department store is on Main Street. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. Right, it's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. Está a la par del banco. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant, right? And in front of, it can be like the hospital is in front of the park. Do you have any questions with the prepositions of place? Se le dificulta. Atrás de, como uno dice, atrás de la catedral. Ah, very good question. That one is behind. 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 Detrás de. Right, that is behind. And when you say eh, in in the, for example, that the place is inside the other place. In the mall, for example. Right? In the mall. Si andan buscando, por ejemplo, Tigo, Claro, o algún otro lugar de sus, de alguna, alguna tienda. You say it's in the mall. It's in Metro Centro, right? It's inside that store. It is not uh, outside. It's in the store. Uh, any other preposition that you have problems with? Yes, no? Teacher, if by for, the field, for la calle, for, or... Okay. How do you say? Very good question. When you say it's by the hospital, by the hospital, como cuando vas en camino al hospital. It's by the hospital, ahí, ahí en ese camino. It's by the hospital, you say. Or you can say it's near, it's near the hotel, está cerca del hotel. You use the word near. Or you can say is, for example, imagine that you are going to, uh, where? Let's see. Imagine that you are going to uh, uh, Mr. Donuts in El Platillo in Santa Tecla. You can say it's near the roundabout. El Platillo. 
Do you know what's the meaning of roundabout? Para decir dos cuadras. Mm. Ah, that is, that it's the way. Do you know ah. what's the meaning of roundabout? Mm. Redonde. The roundabout. Roundabout is redondel. redondel. Well, okay. in that one, the, the one about the blocks and everything, it's a little bit more complicated, but I can explain you a little bit. It's two blocks from... Esta, dos cuadras de... Imagine if you are looking for what? For a... The, let me see a place that I can give you reference. You are looking for, okay, you're looking for Metro Centro. I can say, well, it's three blocks from the uh, Michael Gonzalez Stadium over the 49th Street, sobre la 49. It's three blocks from uh, Michael Gonzalez. And then you have to walk. Three blocks and you go to Metro Centro, right? Here in San Salvador. In Santa Ana, Metro Centro is a, how can I tell you where Metro Centro is? Let me see. If you are coming from San Salvador, is like three blocks from Walmart, something like that. And, and if you are in Aguachapan, uh, is near the terminal, <laughs> I guess. I am guessing. Estoy inventando, no me creen. No, no, no me confía en su dirección. Well, in, in Aguachapán, everything is exactly on the entrance. Si buscan algo en Aguachapán, justo en entrada. Ahí está todo, el hospital, el mercado, la catedral, todo. Ahí está. Just when you enter. <laughs> and then if you go to Ataco and in the other places, they are like at the end of the street. So, no me confíen a mí, confíen en Google Maps. If not, la teacher me dijo que aquí estaba. No, no, don't trust me. Okay, so these are some ideas of the um, prepositions of place that we can use at the moment of finding a specific location. But this is easier, this is easier if we do it with a map. Right, if we do this with a map, it is going to be easier. In the case of the bank, let me just work on this one. The case of the bank, right? The bank is between two places. The bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant, right? It's in the middle. It's the city bank. When you create a map, the streets are always like this. And the avenues are always like this, okay? Las, es, las calles en este caso son horizontales y las avenidas son verticales, okay? You have it there. The post office, the post office is next to what? The, of the post office is next to? It's next to? Hospital. hospital okay very good this is something that i wanted to work on and for this one i am going to stop this one and i am going to use the board let me go to the board Pasamos a la pizarra. when you say the gas uh, let's say the gas station we're going to take that example is next to the and we have to use another time the, uh, the word da in that case, the gas station is next to the hotel. No podemos decir uh, like this, for example, you cannot say uh, gas station next to hotel. Okay, porque eso sí, no entienden, pero es un poco como, lo, como se comunicaban los indios, ¿verdad? Yo querer comida, yo comer, yo comer mucho. And it, it, the idea is good, but the sentence is not correct, right? The gas station is next to the hotel, right? You have to specify the word. In this case, the, the place, the verb to be. In this case, if it is only one, it's is. If it is many, it's are. The preposition of place, 
the in the place again. Okay. Another example, if you are talking about many different places, uh, you can say, for example, uh, in this case, you say the clinics, the clinics are next to the hospital, right? The clinics are next to the hospital because we are talking in plural. Or if you want to specify something extra in plural, you can say there are three schools near my house. And you specify, and you specify the things in plural that you are using, right? There are three schools near my house. There are two hotels in my city. There are three gas stations near my neighborhood, right? So it is important that if we are talking about places in a map, we say the gas station is next to the hotel, okay? ¿Quedamos claros con ese punto? Yes? Yes or no? Yes. Good, so let's yes. go back to the map. Yes. Let's go back to the map. Aquí no ha pasado nada. <clears throat> Let's see, example. We are going to go to the example here. The question is, where is the post office? The post office is... The post office is next to the hospital. Very good job. Very good job. Excellent. So you see, you see. Oh. Where is the bank? Between the bank, the bank is between the department store and the department and Maria's restaurant. Very good. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant, right? Excellent. Where is the movie theater? The movie theater is in front of the park. The movie theater is in front of the park. Si tenemos una calle, también podemos ocupar across from. The movie theater is across from the park. Where is the shoe shop? The bank. Uh, shoe the shoe shop, shoe shop is the corner, corner of on the main corner of on the avenue. 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 Very good. Elmer, can you repeat the sentence? The shoe shop is on the corner. The, the shoe shop is on the corner. The Main Street on 2nd Avenue. Very good. The shoe shop is on the corner of. On the corner of. Okay, así es la proposición. On the corner of. Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Very good. Where is, where is the drugstore? The drugstore. The drugstore is the drugstore is next to the supermarket. Supermarket. Next to the supermarket. Very good job. Imagine that here. Okay, let me just invent something here. Imagine that we have the school. Where is the school? The school is behind. The school the is behind yes. to the, to the, to the, to the bank. bank. Okay. Eh, pausa. La preposición es behind to or behind the. Behind. Behind. Behind okay. to. No, ocupamos to. Es behind. Solo behind. Behind. Oh. The school is behind the bank. The school mm -hmm. is behind the bank. The bank. Si vamos a ocupar la calle, the school is on Center Street. Center it's on Street. Center Street. Very good. 
Where is the gas station? Gas station. Gas station. Gas Excellent job. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue and Center Street. Very good. And let me see another one that I can use. Where is chin, 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 the bookstore? Where is the bookstore? Bookstore is on the corner of Center Street. Very good job. Second um, Avenue. Fantastic. Corner, the booster is on the corner, corner of Second uh, Street, Street and Second Avenue. 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 Very good job. So you see, we didn't have difficulties to find the different places, right? Because we organize the ideas first. Si nos organizamos primero en las ideas, no nos cuesta ubicar los lugares. And it is something very good. So here, we are going to create sentences now that we have the places, right? We have the different places now and you have identified them. And the first one that we have, the coffee shop. The coffee shop that is, let me see. Where is the coffee shop? Let me so see. The corner. Where is the coffee shop? In the corner of Second Avenue. Let's, let's choose to stop. Hey, yeah, it's this one, right? This is the, the coffee shop. Ali's next coffee to shop. The next to the shop. Here it is. Yeah. Here it is, the coffee shop. The coffee shop. Very good. We found it. So the coffee shop, and here we have it, is on Second Avenue. It is next to it is next to the shoe sh the shoe store right the shoe sh the shoe shop <laughs> the movie theater is the movie theater the movie it's theater is across it's across 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 from the park very good. The movie theater is across from the park. Uh, it is, I'm uh, sorry, 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 sorry. The movie theater is on the corner of here. I made a mistake here. The movie theater is on the corner of. Second Avenue and Main Street. Exactly. It's on the corner of. In, on the corner of, I ate the off, me comí el off. Y los estaba regañando a ustedes. <laughs> it's on the corner, on the corner of Second Avenue, and Second Main Avenue and Main Street, right? Uh, Depending on where you have it. Is no. on Park and Main, on the corner of Park and Main. It is across from the park. Across from the park and in this one the next one that we have where is the gas station according to the map where is the gas station it's on the corner in the corner parking on the corner of it is center center street, street. and mm -hmm. first avenue okay but it says the gas station is the parking lot Mm. In front. In front, of. in front of, right? Okay. It's in front of. The gas station is in front of the parking lot. It's on the corner of corner first. Of first. On the corner of first. In the center. Center. Center street. It's on the corner of first and center. Very good. The post office. The post office is on the corner. On the corner of. Second Avenue and Center. It is next to 
Let's to next to the hospital. the hospital. Very good. Let's go with the bank. The bank is the restaurant mm -hmm. and the department store. Between, between, between the between. restaurant and the department store. It is on Main Street. It is on Main Street, right? It is on Main Street. Well, we are going to continue practicing with the prepositions of place and the different places tomorrow. What are we going to do for tomorrow? For tomorrow, I need you please to create a little map. Así como está este mapa que está aquí, ustedes van a inventar uno propio. Okay? Try to invent your map así, cositas simples. Cuatro lugares en cada uno de las de las cuadras. Le inventan los nombres a las avenidas y los nombres a las calles. Si lo hacen en papel, si lo hacen aquí en la computadora, perfect, okay? because you are going to use it. That is going to be for tomorrow, okay? So, thank you very much, my dear students. Ahí pueden poner todos los lugares de la lista que les voy a mandar. Ahí se dan gusto poniendo diferentes lugares. Have a beautiful night, and I am going okay, to see you tomorrow teachers. for another class. Bye, teachers. Bye, bye, take care. Bye, bye. 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 b